and welcome to the season finale in which of course we will be making the Johnny Cakes from Midnight in Salem. I don't think that needs any further explanation so <laughs> let's get to it. So first we're gonna put one cup of flour and one cup of cornmeal in our mixing bowl. In our bowl. Then we're gonna add two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of salt, and one tablespoon of baking powder. And we're gonna give that a stir. Now we're gonna add our liquid ingredients. We're gonna add one cup of milk, a tablespoon of butter that we've melted, two eggs, and then one and one quarter teaspoons of vanilla. We're gonna give that a mix, and also, in addition to all that, we're gonna add just the dash of nutmeg. We are gonna get our pan heating to medium or medium high heat and once that's nice and hot we're ready to start our pan is nice and steaming so we're gonna go ahead and spray that down and start cooking our Johnny cakes if you do mess up and burn a few don't worry that is game accurate just, just like maybe don't eat those ones Looks like the way that's working out best for this is doing them on medium heat and doing them about this big around, but when they're bigger than that, they seem to come out too thick to cook really well through. So this is the size that worked best for us. All right, I've got them separated. So that's your stack and this is mine. Let's give it a try. I'm noticing the nutmeg first thing. I'm noticing the cornmeal first thing. Mm. Uh, it is not super noticeable. Just you just the notice it because it's a slightly different texture. Yeah. And honestly, like when I took a bite, it honestly felt lighter than a normal pancake, maybe? Is that just me? Probably because it's got so much baking powder in it. Yeah, it just won't lie down. So there's a little bit of a different texture doing it with the cornmeal, but Maybe really, that's it it's not cake. something that you're probably gonna notice right away unless you know that it's a Johnny cake. I mean, it's a good standard Johnny cake to begin with. There's not much going on with it, but it is definitely a good carrier for your favorite syrup or jams or whatever. And I can see it going really well with like, there's a little a raspberry topping for one of those. Get a cup of coffee, mm. a piece of fresh fruit, a few of these straight out of the pan and you are set. It definitely would be a good week, weekend morning breakfast or brunch. Yes. Or dinner or afternoon snack or midnight snack. Any of those. Yes, whatever you can get away with. It's a good neutral base for if you do want to look at the little cookbook in the game and actually try to figure out some of the other flavors. Are they as good as they looked in game? No. So do you have any final thoughts for people since we're about to stop posting every single week? So this is kind of like our little goodbye finishing point for the moment. <gasps> Which we will of course be back from time to time. We are going to eventually try out some different flavors of these along with other recipes from other games. It's just not going to be an 
every week upload by any means. We might upload once or twice a month, but it's not going to be consistent. It's mm -hmm. not going to be on a set schedule like we've been doing every Tuesday. I think they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. I like them. I'm going to make them again. Mm -hmm. And they're pretty filling. But, like, pancakes are so filling. And these, like, Yeah, these, with milk. the addition of cornmeal, they're a little more filling than regular ones, so you really don't need all that many. So the game batch that we made, you can easily feed like four people off that amount at least. It was probably if you're decently hungry because this was about about at least half of what we made on this plate here between the two of us. Yeah, we made some other big ones too. So um, if you're only cooking for like two people, you might want to half the recipe. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a lot. And these are definitely something that's going to be best straight out of the pan still hot i think that's all we have to say about it for right now i would um, say definitely try some of the fruit toppings tell us how they are but actually i don't think they're fruit toppings i think they're mix-ins no i think they're toppings like i took it as mix-ins like if you were doing like a banana pancake or something where you would like mash however much banana and mix it in or like i think there was one it. where you would, I like slices of banana you I'm could thinking. But if I'm doing banana and something, I usually mash it. However, like, I think there was one that called for mango. So in that case, probably, like, just cut it up small and mix it into the batter is what I'm thinking. Oh, my word. A mango. And you could always just save the juice that came out from cutting that up and pour it over the top when it comes out of the pan. Make yourself a mango syrup. Okay, yeah, you could do that. And just make, like, fruit sauces. Didn't we make a mango syrup for our slushies? Mm -hmm. You could totally Let's put that back. on top of the Johnny Cakes. We won't tell if you Frankenstein two recipes together <laughs> from two different games. I think that's it for this recipe. Anyway, it has been a lot of fun for us. Hopefully it has been for you too. And we will see you again at some point in the future with a recipe from what game could it be? We don't know because we are not doing them in order anymore. So the suspense is real. 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 And you never know, we might eventually get another new Nancy Drew game with all new foods and ideas and to we'll mingle just have to into... go back through every single game to get to it. Um, a couple of the games were tricky enough, we might not Just do... like, almost all of them. Some of them make She's now. creating work for me. No, no, not every We'll make game. another whole cookbook. No, 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 that is not happening. I am editing all of this out. No! <laughs> Hope you all have enjoyed this, and we will see you at some point on some day with a recipe yet to be determined. Bye, guys. <laughs>